you don't need college to learn, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want for free. It is not a question of learning. Um, there, there is a value that colleges have, which is like, you know, seeing whether somebody's, is, can somebody work hard at something, including a bunch of sort of annoying homework assignments, and still do their homework assignments, uh, and, and kind of soldier through and, and, and get it done. You know, that's, that's like the, the main value of college. And then also, you, you know, if you, you, if you probably want to hang around with a bunch of people your own age for a while, instead of going right into the workforce. Um, so I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. The real way I think you, you actually achieve intellectual property protection is by innovating fast enough. If your rate of innovation is high, then you don't need to worry about protecting the IP um, because other companies will be copying something that you did years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and that's fine, you know. Um, just make sure your, your rate of innovation is fast. Um, speed is really, speed of innovation is, is, what, is what matters. Um, and I do, I do say this to my teams like uh, quite a lot, that innovation per unit time, as I go, innovation per year, if you want to say it, like, is, is what matters, not innovation absent time. Because if you wanted to make, say, 100% um, improvement in something, and that took 100 years or one year, that's radically different. So um, it's like, what, what is your rate of innovation that, that, that matters? And is the rate of innovation, um, is that accelerating or decelerating? Um, and a, a weird thing happens when companies get big is that most companies um, or organizations, the bigger they get, they tend to get less innovative. Um, not just less innovative on a per person basis, but less innovative in the absolute. Um, and I think this is probably because the incentive structure is not, uh, is not there for innovation. Um, it, it, it's not enough to use words to encourage innovation. The incentive structure must be aligned with that. That's fun. Work, if you, if, depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So, uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour, that's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and, I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company.